transporting your dogs using a fear-free guideline, part one, going to the vets. Does your dog like going to the vets? Is it stressful taking your dog in the car? Is your dog exhibiting signs of stress even before reaching the vets? Today, I'm going to give you some tips to reduce fear, stress and anxiety when transporting your dog from your house to the vets. Effective preparations is one of the keys to a successful visit. You may wish to consider that your vet know your dog's requirements. Planning improves you and your pet's experience. Maybe it needs to be at a quiet time. Maybe it does not like other dogs, but okay with cats and people and vice versa. Knowing this potentially allows the right timing to book your dog that may be more prone to fear, anxiety and stress. Certainly bringing your pet's favorite treat or toy may help to reduce stress. Perhaps it may be useful to keep them a, bit, a little bit hungry so the treats you brought may work better unless there are medical reasons not to do so. Every dog is an individual and every scenario is different. Getting your car ready for your pet for transport is often overlooked. You can do a few things that may help to reduce stress like playing quiet, calm or familiar music, avoiding loud startling noises, providing pheromones, food stuffed toys, or remote feeding devices to keep your pet occupied and relaxed during the ride. Sunshades may help to block the visual stimuli and non-slip mats inside the carrier or crate will minimize slipping, which helps to reduce fear, anxiety, and stress. Your dog and you are the safest when your dog is restrained within the vehicle during transport. Harnesses, carriers and crates are all options. The best restraint type depends on the dog's size, your vehicle type and your dog's and your preferences. The ideal restraint should be comfortable for your dog and minimize distractions to you, the driver. Also, dog car restraints should minimize movement so your dog doesn't slip, fall or run around the car which can all increase fear, anxiety, and stress in some dogs. If unrestrained, it may cause car accidents, get lost in the event of a car accident, be thrown around during sudden stops, or slip on a seat and become stressed. If you have a smaller dog, like a Yorkshire Terrier or a Chihuahua, you can secure them in a carrier or crate on the floor behind the passenger seat to ensure not only their safety but also your safety. For larger dogs, a harness has been, that has been sort of tested and certified to be crash resistant is recommended. Unlike children's car seats, pet restraints are not required to be crash tested for safety, so quality varies greatly. Make sure you do your research for that. If you're using a crate in the boot, please remember to secure it so that it will not move in an event of an accident or sudden stop. Ideally, you will practice with the dog wearing the restraints before using it in the car. Your dog should get used to the carrier, crate, seatbelt or other restraint devices in the comfort of your home first. Then follow this with practice in a stationary car and finally on short car rides before taking the trip to the vets. When conditioning your dog to a travel restraint device, like a harness or um, extra seat belts or things like that, please avoid forcing your dog into the equipment, punishing a dog for showing signs of fear, anxiety and stress, or ignoring signs of fear, anxiety and stress during the transport. Your dog can also become fearful when restrained in cars despite our best efforts to make it a positive experience. Before transporting a dog, please do check your little dog's body language to make sure that he is as relaxed as possible and also to watch your dog to make sure he is not panting, vocalizing, attempting to escape, urinating or defecating in the car. If you're not sure or concerned that your dog may be showing signs of fear, anxiety and stress, 
please do call your vet and further advice may be given. I hope this has given you some useful tips on bringing your dog to the vets. Don't forget to watch the second part on tips on transporting your dogs home stress-free. Comment below your take-home message from this. I look forward to see you at the next live event. This is Amity.